to see me. Okay. David Crane and Jeffrey Clarick, uh, when you were approaching the final season of episodes, what was the most important thing that you wanted to include or say or do in that season? I would say um, we we wanted to end it right. We wanted to put a bow on it. Um, uh, endings are challenging. And um, we felt as though we'd taken these characters on this journey and we really, that we owed it to them to uh, to just sort of, to, to, to give it the right punctuation. What he said. <laughs> Very good. And what was um, what was the final scene that was uh, shot on the show? Oh, because we shot it totally out of order. We shoot it all. Oh, somebody just wrote earthquake. Hope it wasn't <laughs> too bad. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we just had an earthquake. In case you're wondering why I said that. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> the, the the last scene that we shot. Yeah, what was it's, it? It was uh, on the beach, episode oh, five. Oh, yeah. It was it, Matt's father uh, dies, and Matt goes to scatter his ashes on the beach. And that was the last thing we shot because we came back to uh, the States to do it. But, uh, yeah, that, and, and the, the scene before that was done three and a half months before. So when he gets into the car, it's three and a half months before he gets to Zuma Beach. What was the uh, what what feelings were going uh, through each of your guys' uh, heads when that last scene was being filmed and cut was called? Um, certainly, there was uh, it was a lot of emotion because it's we've been doing the show off and on for eight years. So even I remember thinking, seasons. I hope they didn't shut down the toilets because it was like <laughs> it was like two in the morning, and I thought I have to pee so bad. And, and so that went through my mind. And yeah, it, it, it kind of, because we, most of the cast was gone, it was just Matt that night. We had already said our goodbyes and gone through the, the hugging and the crying and the, the, yeah. the missing. So it was kind of, it was kind of intimate and nice actually. And I would say the other thing that we, it was the shot, Matt opens the, the bag of ashes and he goes to throw them and the wind comes and blows it in his face. And we knew we had to get it in the one take that we, no one had the time for, you know, showers and redoing hair and clothes. And so there were a lot of cross fingers and Jeffrey yelled action and we all just held our breath and it, we were able to get it in the one take. Oh, that's great. Did, did you have a like a fan to make the wind oh, like yeah. help? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first we had to kill somebody so we could cremate <laughs> their body, and, and that took that took a while. Now you just disappear. And then, uh, yeah, but we had a big fan. I mean, what was wonderful is it was such an intimate, personal moment for him, and there were easily sixty-five people standing around in the dark watching him, and everybody. Every single person, you just looked around, everybody had a tear coming down their face, which was like the most rewarding moment of the whole season for us. Totally. What, um, you guys uh, created the show together, you wrote the show together. What, um, what do each of you bring to the show that might be a bit different from what the other one brings? David's Mr. Organization. He remembers every single thing we write. I write it and within seconds, it's like <laughs> out my ear, out my head. I don't remember anything. And he'll, he'll pitch a line and I'll laugh and I'll say, that was your line. And I'll have no <laughs> recollection. So I couldn't do it without him and hopefully. Yeah, no, it goes both <laughs> ways because Jeffrey is much, I forget whichever side of the brain it is where it's just spontaneous and emotional and in the moment. And I'm more methodical and plotting uh, and organized. And so, yes, Jeffrey brings a kind of inspiration and madness to it that I don't have. So it's, it's we balance each other really well mm. like that. What's the best thing about working together and what's the most challenging thing about working together? 
What's the best thing about? Well, the commute. <laughs> it, it, that's one of the things I find. That, you know, sure. Yeah. You just, I just roll over, and, <laughs> and we're at work, and that's also one of the worst things about it because it's twenty-four hours a day when we're awake. That's really all we talk about. We walk on the beach. We talk about it. We go we're for a car, ride. We yeah. talk about. It. And so it really does take over our lives, but in a good way, I think. Yeah, well, both. I mean, there are there have been moments where we'll be writing and I'll be going, can we, episode two, and he's like, can we just have five minutes where we don't talk about the show? And then I'll go, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And there'll be like a pause. And inevitably it's him and he'll go, all right, fine, episode two. What, what happens about it? And we're back into it, yeah. So what have you been? We have nothing in common other than our work. That's it. Yeah. What What have you been talking about the last couple of months since the show's yeah. wrapped? We've been actually talking about a new idea. Yeah, because you got yeah. some. Yeah, and so yeah, so we're sort of excited about it, and we it's the same setup again. We we pretty much talk about it constantly, yeah. and it's weird because it's a whole different world, and so it's sort of it's it's interesting finding these new characters and and trying to hear their voices yeah yeah get their voices and 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 picture the 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 setting and stuff i mean it, it it's an, it's a bit of an adjustment but but it's it's, it's fun. Uh, fun yeah what was it like seeing those characters cuz think about new characters now but what was it like thinking about characters that you've been working with for 8 years like how did your um what was sort of the difference from when you guys yelled action or whoever yelled action on day one of shooting eight years ago to um, sort of wrapping things up at the end? Uh, I don't know. I mean, certainly the characters evolved and also I think having the experience, the actors are amazing on the show. I mean, Matt and Tamsin and Steven and Kathleen, all of them, they're, they're a great group of actors. And I think over the years of doing the show, we got more and more of a sense of where to take them and what to do with them. And so, I mean, any show you're doing with really talented actors, they kind of start to lead you places. Yeah. Yes. All right, fine. That's it. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys had quite, have had uh, quite a good run at the Emmy Awards, one of the few shows that has sort of reliably been nominated for Best Writing uh, every season of the show. Uh, what has uh, those nominations uh, meant to you? But also, what are you going to be submitting for writing this year for the Emmys? Well, the, uh, it means the world to us. I mean, it really means so much. It's such validation, and it it, it makes us so happy when when we we realize we were nominated. We're sort of nervous this year because we've been out of the uh, public eye for a while, and we don't want everybody to just forget that we were on. Yeah, and just seven in, months ago, and think that we were on in the last Emmy season and not this Emmy season because we came on in the fall right after it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's amazing because we do our show like in a little bubble and we forget that people are actually watching it. So when that happens, it's, it's incredibly satisfying. It's, um, the show deals with the industry, uh, so much, obviously. And I just wondering what was the thing that was most important to you guys that you wanted to say about the industry you guys have been working in for so long? I don't think it was like it was important to say it, but it was something that it was our world, and it was it was it it isn't a world that people assume it is from the outside, and I think we we like the idea of sort of exposing what it really is, and I think we really did it. I mean, I think if 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 you know the business, you know that it's that those people really exist, and those situations really happen. And that was satisfying because other than maybe Larry Sanders many years ago, we hadn't seen that. Yeah. What, what, what is the truth about the business that uh, someone who hasn't worked in it might not know, but was particularly satisfying for you to put up on, on, on the show? 
I think, you know, it, it's, there are, uh, there are egos and it's petty and it's, it's, it's this, um, you assume there must be a kind of guiding sanity to it because everyone involved is actually fairly smart, but everyone has their agenda to such a degree that there's a level of madness. Um, and I think that's what we were trying to capture um, in some cases, literally. Um, but, uh, um, and at the same time, there are people who, like Carol, who was part of that whole sort of network machine, uh, Kathleen's part, um, who you feel for, who's, who is very much a part of, she lies, she lies to her best friend, but at the same time, you're kind of rooting for her because she's also a sort of victim of it. Yeah. What I, I thought it was uh, great this season and a little maybe a bit of a nod to the uh, Emmy Awards uh, when it was discussed that a comedy series is a comedy series if it's 30 minutes <laughs> or less. It doesn't matter yeah. how funny it is. As long as it's 30 minutes, it's a comedy. And now not even 30 minutes from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> now it can be an hour. Yeah. Who yeah. knew? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I suppose that's, I mean, because we do sometimes, I mean, the character who says that, Tim, says to Sean and Beverly, you're so old school. And I think to a degree we are because we sort of bring that to it. We go, wait, it's a half hour comedy. Shouldn't it be funny? No? Uh, and yeah, I, that may be us editorializing just, just the scotch. Yeah, no, it's, um, it was good. Cause the Emmys like a couple of years ago brought in the rule that, um, it was more based on the time. Um, and you had to write an application if you weren't 30 minutes. So that's when, um, some shows had to switch categories and things. Right. Really based the very fact things. that they can switch categories tells you everything. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> so today you're a drama. Okay. <laughs> so um, obviously it's very important that you kept episodes um, a funny show. And what was the funniest moment on episodes for each of you um, in its yeah. entire run? Oh, my God. Um, I don't think I could find one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I liked it. There was one scene that I, I really enjoyed. We, they were on their way. The whole cast was on their way to Merck's father's funeral. And Morning Randolph, the uh, the co-star of Pucks, said, if you died, she says to Matt, do you think the other friends would come to your funeral? And he says, yeah, I think so. And she says, even Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> and, and just the look on Matt's face, he went, yes, even Jennifer. <laughs> And I, I, when you talk about Matt, the, the other thing that comes to mind, because maybe because we were just talking about it, but the episode where his father dies oh. this season, I think is some of Matt's best work because it's mm -hmm. funny. It's really funny because most of the episode is him dealing with the madness of uh, how do you dispose of the ashes and dealing with his mother and his father's girlfriend. But if, at the same time, it has a huge heart and you see the pain. Um, so I don't know if that's the funniest episode, but it's probably that's one of my two favorites this season. The other one being, you asked before, what are we submitting? It's the finale, the series finale. Um, yeah. Just because uh, it's, it's one of those episodes where it just keeps turning and the story keeps turning and hopefully lands in a really satisfying place. Mm. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite memory from the show or a favorite moment? That's one. It's so hard when you when you do a show over this much time. Like the one moment. Um, I guess it, 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 the moment isn't a moment. It's just the general uh, the 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 gratitude of the cast and how how really appreciative they were of of the work and and that meant a lot to me. You know, when 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 actors actually tell you something and and they're not lying, <laughs> and it, it made me happy. You know, yeah, I think that's fair. How much is Matt like the character on the show? 
<laughs> He's everything like that and nothing like that. <laughs> it's very interesting. There are many mats. Yeah, and and I mean, he'll. There are times when we're writing something and we'll go, "Oh my God, that's appalling." Is he going to be willing to do this? And to his credit, he always is. And then he'll pitch us stuff. Oh no! And we're like, no. you can't do that. You've got to protect the character. Um, so, you know, he uh, he certainly embraced it, and I think it's to his credit as an actor that you look at that and you're even asking the question, "Is that?" who he really is. Because I think that a lot of that is his ability to convince you that it might be. Well, what's interesting is people used to say, my mother, for example, that Joey is so stupid. You know, and she really thought Matt was that character. And most people did. I mean, we'll be with him and people will actually speak slowly to <laughs> him because they think he is Joey. And he is really intelligent and really smart. Yeah, well, and intelligent. Both those things. <laughs> Speaking of. And, and he's got a great <laughs> sense of humor, and he's yeah. a terrific actor. Yeah, he's really, I mean, that's why we were talking about the episode where his father dies. You just, he, he brings so much to it. Uh, I, there's really nothing, it, 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 there's nothing he can't do. And I would say that's true of all our our actors, yeah, we're never writing down to them. It's always anything we write, they can do. So that's that's the gauntlet. Yeah. Was there anything ever you wrote for Matt that he was like, I can't do that. That's no. too going too far with my character. No. No, you'd think, but no, we would yeah. we would wait we would wait for the email or the phone call where he'd go, you guys, come on, I can't. No, and no, to his credit, never. Oh, that's good. He was good. Good job, Matt. So, what um, <laughs> is there a moment um, like that when you think back to your time on the show that you just treasure and go, "Boy, it was special. We got to do that." There was there were so many moments like that, like what David was talking about with the with the Matt's father dying, just to see the range of emotions that he projected and conveyed. And, and I mean, it, you would go from laughter to tears like that. And just that, that he has that kind of range is, it, it, it gives us so much satisfaction to be able to have exposed that. And I would also say that the relationship between the three of them, the that Sean Beverly Matt relationship, because Tamsin and Steven are amazing. And and you know, when you cast, it's a bit of a crapshoot. You don't know. Uh, you'll see them in a couple of auditions and then you don't know. And when the whole cast showed up at the first table read and you get to hear it all. And there's this sen enormous sense of relief and kind of a giddy, oh my God, this actually works. The chemistry is right. I remember when uh, he, Stephen read with Matt for the first time and I whispered to David, I said, it's Chandler and Joey. It's that kind of magic. It really was. And they really did ultimately love one another. Yeah. Off and on, on screen. And the same with Tamsin, who was sort of his what would you call it? Nemesis. Nemesis. And yet there was a love there too. So I, I, I don't know. It, it just made me happy to, to create those characters and, and they became so real to us. And I think to themselves. Yeah. And also like with Kathleen Rose Perkins's character, Carol, we, Oh, that was fun this year. Yeah. Well, and I was, this year was great. Cause you know, she just went to shit and uh, just to be able to, put her in sweatpants and getting stoned and, um, but we sort of had mapped out a journey for the character when we broke the show. Like when we pitched the show, we sort of saw where it would go, where she falls in love with every boss and whether it's a man or a woman and then gets fired and loses everything and has to rebuild her life. And we sort of saw that arc from the beginning and then to get a chance to actually do it, that we got five seasons, um, just that was really gratifying. Mm. Yeah, so, that, and here's the other thing is, is sometimes we'll look, and very seldom, we'll watch old episodes of different shows we've done, 
and will sort of cringe. I'll just think, oh my God, I hate that joke. I hate that moment. That's so fake. That's so... And we don't feel that with this show. We, we're sort of, for yeah. us, which is a lot, we're, we're satisfied that we did it the best we could do it and, and that people love it. I, that, I had to get on Twitter. I was told to get on Twitter because <laughs> I don't know why, but they told me I had to get on Twitter. And the people who, who love the show, it's just so heartening. It just makes me so happy. They watch it five, six. I mean, I've never watched them more than once. <laughs> but they, they, they quote things and they know the, the smallest little details. And they're just, I don't know, that, that's the most rewarding part of this for me anyway. Right. Mm. And mine well, is that I'm on Twitter and I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you both on a Google Hangout with us at Gold Derby. So you guys are masterings or technology from Twitter uh, yeah. to... Yeah, you have no idea how yeah. nervous we Twitter are. To yeah. web. I mean, we're just so sure we're going to hit a button and it's all going to disappear. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to sort of finish on this and it's um, what do you want episodes to be remembered for? Um, you want to go? Well, I, I, I would say the writing that <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice <laughs> no but it's true i uh -huh. mean that, that it was honest writing and that it was funny writing and it wasn't lazy writing mm -hmm. um yeah i would say because when you ask the question the two were funny and truthful i mean that was that was as we would do draft after draft that was trying to hone the thing down so that it's both those things and, and that it's remembered especially during this award season <laughs> That's our biggest fear is that we're just going to fall through the cracks because we're we're not we're not the the new shiny. The, the flavor of the month you know and we just hope people remember us. Yeah, well, there, there have been shows you'll be competing against that have been away from the Derby for longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you had like a one year gap, but there's some shows that have had, no, we uh, had a much two and a half year gap. <laughs> two and a, yeah, two and a half year gap. But there's some shows that have been away for seven years or twenty years. And then, That's true. Like, All right. That's a bit <laughs> old, so. We'll see. Um, yeah, but we'll see. How, uh, we'll see how you guys go. And um, yeah, so that. Um, hopefully remembered a lot longer than this awards season, uh, but particularly really for this we'll particularly for this yeah. awards season. Yeah. Um, oh, that's so cool, guys. So, um, so it'll be the season final is your Emmy sub, uh, submission for our writing. I would right. guess it. Jeffrey, Jeffrey directed this whole season and yes. he's submitting episode five, which is the one where Matt's, Matt's father, father dies. dies. Yeah, which I imagine would probably be Matt's submission too if he got nominated again. Yeah, I would like think he, so too. Yeah, he, he can make a choice, but um, that that would be on my guess as to because as you guys said, that was probably one of his best episodes of the whole run yeah. of the show, let alone this season. Um, guys, it's been so fantastic talking. All the best of luck for the Emmy Thank Awards. You. This was um, great. Yeah, are you okay with the earthquake? That's fine. Yes. <laughs> but now tell us, how do we turn this off? <laughs> okay. I will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you. I'm going to press the stop record button, and then I will tell you how to get out of this. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. You can All go, right. We embrace and, uh, go, the technology. Go through your place, and you can make sure nothing's fallen off or broken and anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah. glad you guys are well, and all the best <laughs> for the Emmys. Thanks, man. Oh no! Is that led to the lamp break? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Bye. 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 Okay.